So, wow, yeah, some pretty shady stuff going on here, but ultimately justice was served. And yeah, once if I told you that Starfield also has an amazing system that is constantly running in the background, this is wild what you can do with it. Yeah, this deals with a stolen video that went viral, but was thankfully re-uploaded by the original creator calling out the thief but also revealing what you can do with Starfield's engine. This is a pretty cool story, which thankfully has a good ending and a cool discovery as well. Plus, is Starfield more popular among this type of player? And Starfield fans are taking refuge away from the negativity in very creative ways. And before any DLC or expansions release, Bethesda desperately needs to take a look at this one redundant feature that is a boring snore, so we've got to talk about that one for sure. But yeah, if you are new, welcome aboard. Smack that subscribe button and also turn on that bell notification icon so you never miss a future upload. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this one because this video I'm about to showcase, which I'm not going to showcase the full thing, of course, uh, was originally stolen from the original content creator. And here he is calling out the thief says this, someone stole my video and uploaded it, acted like he was me. So please enjoy the video in higher quality and from the creator. This one comes from Moa03. And if we can full screen this right here, it also kind of reveals a system here that is absolutely impressive in Starfield. He sets up this domino of bread slices and then of course some books here but if we fast forward it a little bit here we can get an idea of how impressive the actual physics system and engine is for the creation engine for starfield again i'm not going to play the whole thing but check out the full video in the description below because the course this guy has set up is extremely impressive and you guys have got to see it and it looks like justice was served around the thief that stole this video check it out right here the stolen video got 12,500 upvotes, and here's the original creator of the video itself and the actual course that we just saw now. It says, I did file a copyright, but honestly, I have no clue how long that will take. Edit mods took down the stolen post. Thank you, everyone. Good to hear. And then it says, English is not my first language. By copyright, I mean video takedown request. I'm tired of answering each question one by one. So here's what happened. I upload the video to YouTube, and he got it from there and posted it on his on this subreddit. This guy didn't credit me and acted like he's the creator of the video, answering people's questions like he did it. Wow. So that's why I didn't want it to stay up and requested a video takedown. I had no idea how long that would take, so I posted the video myself. So it's good to hear that at least in some way, justice was served and again you know i'm noticing the starfield community they really are kind of like a tight-knit group and they gave this guy like fifty-six thousand upvotes on the subreddit no fifty-four thousand, probably fifty-six thousand when all said and done but this is within like 20 hours so that was awesome to see by far like the most upvoted starfield post i have ever seen so kudos to the Starfield community for that one. And we're beginning to kind of see this interesting thing happening with Starfield because this is kind of becoming, I guess you would say, a viral sensation where players are getting together and creating their own Starfield dominoes. Here's another one right here from Fearless Flaw. And as you can see, if we press play here, we can see him set up the entire domino course i suppose you would call it <laughs> it starts with the yes the infamous bread piece and you can see the physics engine here running i'm not going to play the full thing i'm going to throw those links in the description below so you could see the full videos and check it out for yourself but yeah some really cool stuff going on here and it goes to show that there is this essentially really amazing physics engine running under the hood at all times uh, for Starfield, and I feel like they could make perhaps like an entire domino centric type game in the future. I don't know why someone has actually not done that. I think to that weird time in gaming history when Rockstar Games made that ping pong type game. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? I could just imagine Bethesda Games all of a sudden releasing a full version domino game down the road. 
Or maybe, you know what? We should have like a domino mini game in Starfield. I don't know, some sort of creative take on dominoes, a futuristic take, who knows? But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this subject right here as well. It says, Starfield respects my time and I appreciate that. And this one comes from Lakey, uh, Lanky, excuse me, Yogurt Closet 33, who says this. So I played Elite Dangerous a few years back and remember flying to Hutton Orbital, which took literally like three hours of real time. And when I got there, it was nothing, literally nothing. No free ship, no items, no skills gained. It was a meme base put there to troll new players, a rite of passage of sort. I keep hearing people demand more space travel out of Starfield. All I can say is, thank God Bethesda didn't listen to these loons and actually respects our time as human beings playing a video game. I mean, are these people serious? You want to sit there in a chair for three or four hours traveling from Earth to Pluto or whatever? Why? Just why? He brings up a point. Let me know if you guys feel the same way again. I consider Starfield very much that Bethesda formula attached with the space theme to it. That's how I view it. But yeah, also we got to talk about how Starfield seems to be popular among a certain group of players, or is that actually the case? Let me know what you think of this one. I am extremely curious. So it says this, more popular among older gamers. This one comes from Ben Meta, who says this, this is completely anecdotal based on what I've seen on Reddit, but it seems like many of the people who really enjoy the game are 35 plus years of age. Now it says, the opinion posts I see are this mechanic wastes my time, or this was a missed opportunity, or they should have kept this mechanic from Fallout 4. And then there's a handful of, I've been gaming for 30 years and I haven't had this much fun in a long time. And I'm 35 and can't stop playing Starfield. I wouldn't be surprised if the game's sentiment correlated with age demographic, but I'm just curious if you all have noticed this too. P.S. I know that giving criticism doesn't mean you aren't enjoying the game, but I think you are definitely having a particular experience if an aspect bothers you so much that you have to post on Reddit about it instead of just playing the game. Let me know if you guys are noticing this or not. I'm kind of curious. I'm actually very, very curious about this. Now, there were some interesting replies here we have this one right here it says 47 i love the game and when i'm not actively playing it i am thinking about it yeah that's how i am all i want to do is play starfield lately you know it's interesting even with cyberpunk phantom liberty out i have adopted this whole new mindset you know over the past few years that when i start a game i really want to be invested in it you know and have the chance to really enjoy it. and it is tough for me to walk away from a game that I am enjoying and I am enjoying the hell out of Starfield. Let me tell you what. Now, what's happening on the actual Starfield forums and community is also very interesting because we have some communities within communities forming a refuge of sorts. So we have the coffee pod, which is described as a community where you can sit back, relax, discuss the game without worrying about someone attacking you over actually enjoying the game. That's the sad state of the world now is that you kind of have to defend yourself if you're enjoying something and then we have this one right here i kid you not it's called the old parts universal cafe which got uh, me laughing for sure but i respect it because they describe it once again as a laid-back experience where you don't have to worry about being like verbally assaulted or some keyboard warrior coming after you just because you say hey you know what i love starfield i'm enjoying the hell out of the game so i thought it was interesting to see that the starfield community is going to such lengths to essentially i guess you would say protect one another and to form this shield and uh to have a community where you guys can like sit back relax and talk safely about the game but also yes still give critical feedback also, we have this one right here as well. It says, Starfield needs to spice up its exhausting power temples. This one comes from Forbes. I love uh, Paul Tassi stuff, by the way. But yeah, you know, it's definitely an interesting discussion because before we get into the DLC, the updates and expansions, that sort of thing, this, I think, definitely needs to be addressed. This is what the Forbes article goes on to say from Paul Tassi. It says, well, we know that Starfield is planning a big expansion in the future, making this temple process less laborious is something that I think the game needs before then there are a few ways you can go with this idea 
Furthermore, goes on to say the following right here. You could just streamline it so you only have to do the light chase once then the other times you just fly into the center when you get there still a bit dull now my alternate choice would be to spice up the actual encounter itself i agree with this like there's some sort of enemy to face at or inside the temple maybe there's a crimson fleet ship that's landed nearby who are also investigating the weird temple and you have to fight that crew love that idea maybe there's a collection of starborn who got there first you must now mow down maybe even inside the ring area instead of floating lights there are floating varan trying to kill you and discover the ring's power we know the game knows how to do zero g gunfights after all that's what i was thinking i felt like those encounters uh with the temple were very lackluster there were some signs like alien life like you saw there just a moment ago but i felt like they could have done so much more with this as you progressed through the story and made the temples more interesting as you go uh perhaps more like intimidating challenging that sort of thing i think that needs to be fine-tuned for sure maybe do a little bit of an update 2.0 hell i would love to see them do something like cyberpunk update 2.0 uh with um you know starfield i think that would be cool now also we have some additional feedback here as well it says I hope Bethesda tweaks the procedural generation so we can see more canyons, lakes, and rivers. And it says, I've been to 23 planets with little less than 115 landing locations, generated tiles. I've seen only one pond in my entire playthrough so far. No procedural rivers, lakes, nor canyons. I did the blank mission uh, where you go into the de developer's handcrafted canyon and it was so refreshing to take a break from the plane with hills and mountains. I never realized I've never been in one before until I went through that handcrafted area. And yeah, this is definitely an issue, I think. So again, you know, maybe just maybe we deserve like an update 2.0 again for Starfield. Sound off if you agree with that or not. I'm not saying that Starfield is in such a bad way that Cyberpunk was at launch. In fact, I think it's in way better shape than cyberpunk ever was at launch in terms of glitches and bugs and that sort of thing but yeah someone also did the impossible they collected all 52 individual playing cards in starfield this comes from gjab and i didn't even know that this was possible but yes it is actually possible now he can uh, start up his own casino maybe i don't know all right, so now it's time to get into your top comments today. It's a little bit of a shorter video because I am a little bit under the weather, so I decided to make it a little bit shorter. Hope you guys don't mind, but yeah. Uh, let's get into what my most recent video was about, which is this one right here. All new updates from Bethesda, next five years, big expansions, and more. Let's scroll on down, shall we? So we have this one right here from General J, who says this. One thing I wish the game had was when I was flying, when I get up from the pilot seat to see the entire crew sitting in the cockpit, basically giving the feeling that they helped with my most recent space combat. You know, I thought that was going to happen as well. So yeah, that's another one of those quality of life things that I think that Bethesda definitely needs to get to updating for sure. Now we have Starfield guy who says, I want to see space station building, expanded outpost building, scrapping of guns and suits for parts, survival mode, ability to change color of suits and guns ability to craft ammo i love all of that but in particular if there's one or two things out of that that i absolutely want to see is survival mode first and foremost and space station building that would be totally badass can you imagine the type of space stations that you can build but if i can add to that list i still want to see companions with the ability to uh, have their own ship that you can give to them and they can basically fly with you in formation and fight you know the crimson fleet or what have you that would be really really cool all right what's next we have this one from the mandalorian revan who says the ability to upgrade the scanner to ignore worthless clutter would be king 10 out of 10 i would buy more dlc for this game i want all sorts of stories main story expansion more new game plus story variations more factions and more side content totally agree and you know if they could just find a way somehow within the lore and the story of the game which i don't know how they would do it to allow new game plus to carry over your weapons your you know all of your stuff essentially your spaceships that you have created and everything then i would be very tempted 
to get more and more into new game plus it's just for me personally for me personally i feel like it's such a bummer that you can't carry over all your stuff you know for me essentially that's what new game plus means but i know a lot of you are like hey yo it's part of you know the lore the story i get that i do understand that but anyway thank you all so much for watching stay tuned here for more starfield news and updates i have you guys covered and i will see you all next time take care